my TED talk about passion and how TLC has taught me to go above and beyond. As students, we are often told what to do. We are given specific assignments with specific guidelines and specific deadlines. It's sometimes hard to find motivation to go above and beyond when faced with restrictions and due dates. Over time, I became very comfortable doing what I was told to do. Not just what I was told, yeah, right, not just in school, but also in life. For example, my passion has always been dance, since I was, and I've been doing it since I was little. <laughs> I recently noticed that all of these guidelines I've been given throughout my life have translated into my dance. Everyone has a teacher, they teach specific dance moves, and then the students copy it and practice it. Once again, I was very comfortable doing exactly what I was told to do. This year, during PE, I had the opportunity to choreograph and dance. I found that I really enjoyed creating my own dance, not just copying the moves from someone else. I realized how fun it was to have the freedom to work with the group members who I really enjoyed in the way that I wanted to work. Maybe that's why I got a physical education award. <laughs> <laughs> because of how I have been taught, I have not been able to express who I am and my creative abilities. But as I get older, that's changing. In high school, we get more opportunities to choose the classes and projects that we want, and to simply be independent. TLC has really given me the opportunity to be the student that I want to be. For me, the perfect example was when halfway through the year, Miss Nelson assigned us our class, the Shark Tank Project. We were still given specific guidelines and deadlines, but this time we had more freedom. We got assigned a group of three other people, and sometimes in projects, group members don't always get along, and anyone who participates in project-based learning would understand that. This time, I got lucky. My project group agreed on a topic that we were all passionate about which made this project more fun and less like work. Our topic was the lack of water in Africa, and we paired up with a nonprofit organization called The Water Project. And this time, we actually didn't wait until the last minute to, fit, to get everything done. It was easy for us to go above and beyond because we took pride in what we were doing. It was not just something we had to do. I think that it's almost always important when you find something that you're passionate about. I pretty much always procrastinate, and sometimes I may not always go above and beyond, but this time I really tried, and it worked. Freshman year, I walked into Miss Cavan and Miss Nelson's class, having no idea what to expect. And now leaving TLC, or as most of us still call it, Galileo, now I now look forward to sit to I look I now I now look forward to situations where I will have to be more independent and I have a better understanding of what is important to me. I know I will still have to work hard, and I'm looking forward to the challenge. And I know that when we go above and beyond, our dreams will be realized, and Miss Cavan will give us a four. <laughs>